Today I want to give you a demonstration of another online application that you can use whenever you want to design your flyers for different events. This particular package that I'm talking about is called Canva. To get to that location you want to type in canva.com and that will bring you up to this location. Now if you don't have an account you can set up an account. They have free accounts and they also have paid accounts. All the demonstrations that I'll be doing on this particular software will be the free accounts. And you can check the pricing if you want to on it. The free one gives you several different kinds of templates that you can use in most designs. And it should be enough for you to get through the type of flyers that you are doing. If you want to move up to the pro version, then it gives you everything within Canva, which is quite a bit. And it will also add stock footage, stock pictures, and, and a lot of other things. The beauty of using Canva is the fact that it has an assortment of templates already designed, already set up, so that you don't have to necessarily create from scratch. This saves you a lot of time. Plus, it might give you some ideas about how you want to lay out your particular flyer that you're trying to do. As you scroll down through those, you'll see in the right-hand corner of the of these particular templates, they're free, free, and then sometimes you'll see this pro version. The pro version flyers are not available for you to work with, but the other flyers are available, which now makes it very good, very easy for you to work through. To start with, as you look at this page across the top, it will list the, the templates and the features and all that for the different styles that you want. Whether or not you want to set up a layout for a photo, whether or not you want to set up, let's say you want to set up to do a, a poster. Or if you, like in most cases, will be advertising an event, you'll want to use the social media, uh, particular flyers in this case. For me, I have started using the social media using the Instagram posts because the Instagram posts are fl flexible enough so that you are able to set them up and use them on Instagram and at the same time you can use them on Facebook, Twitter or any of the other uh, social media platforms that you're going on. On the left hand side you'll see the templates it gives you choices and you can scroll down through there and see the different choices that are available to you. Uh, as you scroll, then once you find one that you like, then you will click on it, and then that allows you to start your design. In addition, you have the ability to add shapes, graphics, also some photos. Kind of limited in this particular free version, but sometimes they may have the pictures that you want. You'll have to hunt around for that. On the text side, it gives you some already preset templates of text if you like that particular style, just simply clicking on it, it puts it into the blank canvas. And then from there, if you want to edit a word, then you double click on that section right there. And as you can see, it's very easy to change the wording to fit whatever activity that you have going on. Here's a secret keystroke I'm going to give you that you can use. In fact, it works on most applications. On the Mac, it's Command-Z. On the Windows platform, it's Control-Z. But let's say I didn't like the word easy that I just typed in. I do Command-Z, Command-Z, and it takes me back to my original. If I don't even want that particular type on there, I do Command-Z, and it then gives me my blank screen again. That's just one way you can do the blank screen. Once you see the green boundary lines around the item that you're working on, if you don't like that item in there, you can hit delete key also, and then it will also empty the canvas for you. I'm going to go up, and just for the sake of this argument, we're going to use the flyer that you guys designed. When you first put together your labor uh, activity back in September, I'm going to use that as a starting point to set up a template that you could use if you wanted to advertise that event. Now, I'm going to pick just, just a random one. I think I'll pick the first one. And we'll look at it. It's nowhere near 
what you may have wanted because the picture is not relevant, relevant, the words are not relevant, but that's the beauty of Canva. It's just a starting point. It's a graphics layout that will help you. If you click around the screen, you'll see the green line around the picture, which means you can change it, the green line around the words. Train family yard sale, there's also green lines around. Clear out your yard. Anywhere you see those green lines, you're able to make those edits fairly easy uh, and fairly fast. So that's what we're going to do today. First, I'm going to go out and pick a picture. Typically, if they don't have the picture I want or you don't have the picture that you want, I will go out to, let's say, I'll go out to the, to the, to the Google search. And I'll do Google search for Labor Month image. And that's what I did in this particular case. For some reason, I like this picture. I don't know if it will work for me or not, but I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on it for a couple of reasons. One, I want to see, first of all, if it's already copyrighted, and second of all, uh, I want to make sure that it will fit with what I'm trying to do. I'm going to save this image to my download section, and that way I can come back and use that. Or I can use any other image I want also, but also you've got to look for, once again, you've got to look for the words that will let you know whether or not that particular image is copyrighted or if it's an image that you can use. Okay, here's another picture I like for some reason. Uh, it talks about Black Labor History Month. So let me see if I can save that image in my downloadables. I kind of like that for some reason. And then we'll go back to our canvas, our untitled design, and we'll click on the picture. And you know that because you see the green line around the picture to let you know that's what you're working on. To get another picture into this particular design, what you'll want to do is go over in your left-hand column and you'll see an upload section. And I've already uploaded one picture, but I'm going to up upload another one just, just so we have some options. And that's that one, that day trader one that I had. And you drop it in, and then it automatically loads into your options for adding to this picture. Why is that important? So I can now grab the handle on that picture, drop it into that green bar, and say, hmm, does that fit with what I'm trying to do? Or is it not quite clear enough? I don't like that. I'm going to do a con con Command Z. Because I'm using the Mac right now. Command Z, get out of that, and I'm going to go to the other picture. So I'm going to click on this picture here, let it hover over the area that I want to drop in. I'm going to drop it in, as you can see. And I like that for some reason. Now, also, the beauty of this particular program, Canva, is that you can change the color of backgrounds in these images, which will help you also get to the color that you want. The first thing I want to do is decide on which logo I want to use. Do I want to use the blue logo on this background or do I want to use the gold logo? So let's see, I'm going to click just on the gold logo. And as you can see, it is now on the canvas and I'm going to move it up to the top. And let me move this around a little bit to see, does it stand out? Can I see the NAACP? of that logo. I kind of like that. It stands out from the background. So I'm going to leave that gold one there. And the way I was able to move it is I grab the middle and I just drag it wherever I want to on the canvas. So Command Z, Command Z. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put this in there one more time. I look on my side. I like the gold one. I go boom. There it is in the center. It's too large, I already know that, so I'm going to grab one of the right, the left handle, bring it down and shrink it, and then slide that up to the top so that you see right off the bat. And then you can move it either here or you can move it there. Now, for me, I for some reason like it here, so I'm going to leave it there for the time being, but I have the option of changing. Now I want to look at the color of this background because it's... I really don't want the green background right there. For some reason, I want our blue and our gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this color swatch at the top. And it gives me some choices. I've already gotten the NAACP colors blue and gold in there, so I'm going to put a blue in there, and voila. Now you have a different color 
on that particular background. So now I've got a picture, I've got the logo in there, and I've got it where I want it, and now I also have the blue background. So we got the blue and the gold as a part of the part of the layout. What else do we need to do? We need to go back and change some of these words. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this train family yard set. I'm going to change it to youth council. And as you can see with the youth council, for some reason, it's too large to fit within that bounding box that they did. So we've got a choice now. We can go up to the top again where the letters are. And if you click the minus button, watch what happens. It changes the font size from 72 to 71, which makes it large enough to fit within those boundary box. Okay. Now, the Youth Council is having an event, and what do you want the Youth Council to do? So here is, okay, so click within that boundary. It now highlights the text, and you want to say, come join us. Our job now is to clarify that. So now I've got come join us. Come join us for what? The Youth Council's for uh, support of the month of labor. And you have now more information about why you want the Youth Council's participation. Well, this has got the date on it and time. And so let's, let's, let's click on that again. If you click in the middle, double click on it, and highlight that text, what date is it? Yours was September 18th. And we might as well put the year so people, just in case they ever see this thing, they will know when. And it is starting at 2 p.m. Where is it starting? Now, in the old days, we had an address. We could talk about the meetings and all that. And we're going to put virtual event. That way people know right off the bat, okay, what's going to happen here. Now, that text is, is left justified right now. So I'm going to highlight that and see what I can do with that text right now. Okay, with that text is that. If I go back up here to the top where you see the 21 and you see the alphabet and all that, if I click this alignment button, now you see that it centers it automatically, or I can write justified, or I can bring it back to non-justified, and then center it back again. And so I, I like that. That's kind of pleasing. In fact, I might even go up here and highlight this text, and I am going to center that one as well. Okay, so now we got the text centered, and now, now we know what the event is. And we need more information, okay? Let's see. Let's add some text to this right now. How are they going to register? Let me see. I'm going to click on the text button. I'm going to go up here. You can either add another heading, add a subheading, add a little bit of body text. In our case, we're going to do a subheading. And I'm going to move that subheading down to the bottom. And what do I want this subheading to say? I like that text. Get details at NAACP DECAB KALB dot org. Now I don't want this text to be on two lines, so I'm going to grab the handle either in the center here and start pulling it till it now fits within the area of the bounding box that I want. Okay? Now I know it's centered, and it has what I want it to do. Highlight the fact that you need to go out to naacpdecab.org to get your information. So, so far on looking at your poster and looking at this one, we have, you want to come join us to support the, the month of labor. Uh, we have the date and the time, and we have it as a virtual event. We have the website. But we don't have this part right here, the apprenticeships, internships, fellowships. Okay, so let me let me find some text that I can use for that. Let's try this. I'm going to do another subhead. 
and now I got my subhead. I'm going to move it somewhere so we can move it to the side. And in that subhead, I want to be able to grab that text and type in what you guys have. Apprenticeship. Internships. And fellowships. I've got the apprenticeship here, but I'm concerned that some of the words may blend into the background. You may not ever be able to read them. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go up here along the top again where the words are, and I'm going to click on this button that says more. And once I do that, I'm going to get some other options. And you can play around with these options to see which one best suits you. But I'm going to go to effects. And right now, I have no effects on it. Now, if I want to, I can put a drop shadow on it. I'm going to do a lift because now it kind of put, I don't know if you saw that. Let me go back to none. Now watch very carefully when I put a lift on that. It sort of puts a dark background behind it, sort of an outline on it. And so that gives me a little bit of separation between it and the words. So now let's look and see what we have here. On your presentation, you had NAACP. Uh, we got that. We got the logo. You got NAACP DeKalb Youth Council. We got Youth Council. And you're asking them to join to support the month of labor. We have that on there. You have the date and time. And you had apprenticeship, but last but not least, which is the most important part, you have get details at NAACP DeKalb, which is one of the most important pieces that you want to do. That's how easy it is to design a flyer using the Canva layout. Once you get the one that you want, <clears throat> here's what you can do next. If you go up to the top, you download, and it will give you a choice of where you want to download it. And you say, I want to download this. And in my case, it's going to download to my download box. Okay. And then I can get it. And as you see there on the left-hand side, then that is the final version of what this particular flyer will look like. Didn't take a lot of time to set it up. It's pleasing to the eye. And it gives the message. Here's some other things you can do real fast if you're working on it. And you say to yourself, well, there's some parts I don't like. For instance, what? Let's say you want the logo to move. You click on the logo, get the green lines around it, and you move the logo over here. Now you look at it and say, well, mm, I don't like that. So I don't want to go back to where it was. What's my, what's my favorite key? Command Z. And it takes it right back to the beginning. And you now have the flyer laid out as you initially set it up. I want to try one more thing here while we're here. Let's say I don't necessarily like that particular template that was laid out. What can I do? Well, let me see. I could go pick out another template to see if it would fit my particular needs. Let me see if I see another one I might try. Uh, let me try this one. Now, if you notice, it has all of the data already put into it. The Youth Council, we've got to make some changes here, of course, and get rid of some spaces and words and things like that. But just by, just by clicking on another template, you're able to bring in those documents uh, without having to redo the text. So now we got the basic information in there. Here's a picture over here. Wonder what happens if we add one of these pictures that we have. So we're going to go over here and we want to add a picture in there. So we're going to drop it over there until it finally fits and voila. So we still don't have our logo on there. Let's make sure we get that in there. And the logo there is now. And we're going to move this logo up to here so that it's not, it's not on this red arrow. We're going to take this and we're going to move it over. And there's your logo. Okay, so we have your logo. We have the Youth Council, September 28th, but we're still missing some parts. How do we do that? Of course, we come in here with our text. And we add, add a subheading. And that subheading says what? Get all details at NAACP. I don't like this little thing here, so I'm going to delete it. That's how simple it is. And I'm going to now move this particular item up. And like I told you, you're going to have to play around with this to get exactly what you want. 
but in the final analysis, you're gonna you're gonna really like the way that it is easy, it's fast, and it's simple. I'm gonna go back to my more effects. I am going to do some separation there so you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna put a little lift on it so it spreads spreads off of that background somewhat. So in the final analysis, that's how easy it is to start working with the Canva. If that template doesn't meet your needs, then you can scroll down through here and find out. Let's let's try another one. There's another template. Most of the information is there. Youth Council. Where are we going to put the logo? Uploads. We go here. Click. I am going to put the NAACP in blue this time because it stands out against the red. And that will be it. And now we may need two pictures. Here's a picture. Let's, let's go in here and click on this. Drop, uh oh. Safety valve, hit the com Command Z. Say, let's try it again. Click on that picture and drop it there to let it go and it falls in place, okay? Here's another picture we want to change, so let's drop a picture in on it. And now you are now ready to work with this particular presentation. I don't like the text on this one, so I am gonna highlight all of that text in that box. I'm gonna go back to more do effects and we're going to change it to get details and change the layout of it. There's a lot of ways you can work with this. The key thing I'm going to tell you is look at your templates. It'll save you a lot of time. Use your elements as you need to. Upload the types of pictures that you need for the background. And lastly, you decide on picking the type of text that you want to use in this. And just like this, I can now either download this one as a file as well. And there you have it. Come join us for the support of the month of labor, Youth Council, September 18th, virtual event, get details. That's a simple example of using Canva. You can play around with it. You'll come up with some ideas, I'm sure, and we'll go from there. Any questions, let me know.